And welcome back. The time is 6.17 and here's your look at weather and traffic on the 7s. Well, it's still hot for your Friday. No surprise there. We're going to see temperatures again in the triple digits, but we're starting to see them drop just slightly. We're in for a hot day and we're starting to see conditions dry up. We had a lot of moisture in the air yesterday. Some experienced some rain. It looks like we could see some light sprinkles in the morning time, but it's looking like it's going to make its way on out of here and it's going to dry on up today. So today in El Paso again, we're in for another Another triple digit day this time at 102 and that's quite a big difference when compared to the start of the week when we had our hottest temperature at 110 out in Las Cruces we are going to see a high of 101 so triple digit as well and today June 30th this is a record setting day and this is back in 1994 when we experienced the hottest temperature ever in El Paso now that was set at 114 degrees so today for your June 30th we are going to sit about 12 degrees shy of this record with our high expecting to reach about 102. So I'm sure a lot of us are quite happy that we are staying at 102 and not reaching that 114. But a cool fact to know just how hot it really has been in El Paso. Here's a look now at our future track short term model. And you know, as I mentioned, we had some moisture in the air and it's making its way on out. So we could see some light showers right now in the early start of the morning. But as the day progresses, it looks like the moisture is just really going to surround El Paso and not really ever pass through El Paso. So it's looking like it's going to start drying up. This is about 1 p.m. We're anticipating the moisture to move around El Paso. And again, you can see into the evening, 6 p.m. El Paso is staying dry. A lot of activity to the eastern sides of us. But again, El Paso looking like it's going to stay dry for the entirety of your Friday. So the weekend looking pretty good. 102 expected for your Saturday, 102 expected for your Sunday in El Paso. And out in Las Cruces, we're going to see 100 for your Saturday and Sunday. We could see 98, so it could we could break below the triple digits, but we'll keep an eye out on that to see if that changes in the next few days. Also in the next few days, the 4th of July. So here's your 4th of July outlook. We could see a temperature of about 102. That moisture that's leaving today is going to start to make its way back back into the area come Sunday. So we do have some rain chances in our forecast for our 4th of July. Here's a look now at our seven day future track sponsored by matches from today. We have that high of 102, 102 for your Saturday, 102 again for your Sunday. You see the temperature, it drops just slightly though. 101 for your Monday, 4th of July, looking pretty nice at 102. It's going to be warm, but a lot cooler than what we've been experiencing lately.